Our prize had huge success in its second year. That's right, drawing hundreds of thousands of people to Grand Rapids and allowing West Michigan businesses to get involved in very unique ways. Yeah. One of our partners, Option One Credit Union, saw it as an opportunity to extend the culture. And Jerry Schmidt is back with us from Option One. And she's brought along with her a local artist, Kristen Thornton. Ooh, hello. Welcome. Well, thank, thank you. you. We don't always discuss banking and art in the same <laughs> flat, no. but that's what we're doing today. Day. Jerry, can you just explain how Option One really embraced ArtPrize this year? Oh, sure. We made the decision that we wanted to definitely be a part of ArtPrize, and so we sponsored the world's largest registration box, and the winner then would receive a trip to Paris, France. Um, and the box was located down at the YMCA downtown, and it was a big box. <laughs> <laughs> and it became a very art artistic uh, box, too, with all the kids coloring on the outside Absolutely. Of it, right? we, it was painted with a chalkboard paint. So the kids actually could participate, and then their parents or their um, uh, older siblings could then enter for the prize to Paris, France. And it just so happened that the winner, Kristen Thornton, yay, <laughs> um, is also a local artist. Mm -hmm. And she was so gracious to allow us to put some of her art pieces on display at the credit union. So we were able to extend our prize. And her uh, pieces are running uh, on display now yes. with us through January. Yes. And then as a result of that, a number of our members and some of our community that have come in to see it are artists themselves. So now we're going forward and being able to put some of their pieces in the future on display as well. So we're extending that great culture that's going on in, in, this, in this community and uh, really putting it out there. So. That is really awesome. awesome. So it's like a almost like a museum. If you, when it's you a beautiful gallery. Take care of all your yes. needs. Yes. So tell us about your um, your experience with Art Prize because you actually have had entries in for yes, both, both Art Prizes, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. including this beautiful uh, work. Yes, uh, that was on the. Uh, um, at the Amway Hotel the first year, and then the past year I was at uh, Van Holick's Shoes in the, in the window front. So both really great, great experiences. It's a fun time. It's a really enjoyable experience, and it's just a great way to get your artwork out there and seen. And, mm -hmm. and then now, like Jerry was saying, I put my name in the world's really, really big box. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, lo and, and behold, I big won. Big <laughs> lo and behold, I am going to Paris to look at more art. That so is, and be inspired. And, and be inspired. Right? By, exactly, exactly. <laughs> you know, you live and work in West Michigan. What I does do. it mean for you to be able to show your art? You know, an art prize is done. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That was a great opportunity. Yeah, but yes. to be able to be at the 32nd Street location where you get so many people coming in and seeing your artwork, mm -hmm. that's got to be a little bit. Oh, yeah, because Grand Rapids is a wonderful community and, and uh, West Michigan's a wonderful area. Most of my landscapes are from uh, Michigan area, uh, particularly West Michigan. Mm -hmm. And just uh, beautiful areas, beautiful sights to see and enjoy. And for you, Jerry, it, it must be just kind of an extension of what you are in helping to encourage people to pursue their dreams and have these opportunities to showcase their talent. Oh, absolutely. Because credit unions, you know, they're cooperatives. Mm -hmm. And as part of that, we're all about the people that we serve. And especially in the Michigan today, you know, it's so important that we're helping each other out. Mm -hmm. And uh, the art community is such a huge piece of what the credit union actually is. And uh, to offer them a venue to be able to display the works and promote and support and, and move things forward, it's just a natural for option one. Yeah, so. and you help people save their pay. We, we totally give credit for. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. is it hard for an artist to be seen? Is it hard to be known? I know that our economy right now isn't the best we've had. The, yeah, the fine arts take a take a hit when the um, when the financial parts go down. But uh, but being seen, uh, Grand Rapids is a wonderful community supporting the fine arts all the way around. Right. The Meyer Gardens, we talked about that earlier. And, mm -hmm. and uh, of course, Credit One, uh, Grand Valley Artists, I'm a part of that. So there are some really nice, nice opportunities, some wonderful galleries here in town. And by having that um, extra support from, from folks you don't really always think of as being the art supporters, but yet they are. Mm -hmm. Well, that's always great. And, you know, and Jerry, I want to say thank you so much for encouraging all of us to be uh, more responsible with how we're planning our own financial picture. You talk about resolutions. New Year's resolutions. <laughs> <laughs> and you can help Stop anyone who yeah. wants to become more financially organized. That's uh -huh. true. Exactly. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. Their locations 
easily found all across West Michigan. Absolutely, in Grand Rapids and in Lansing. Thank you very much. Wonderful. Thanks, ladies, for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Stay with us. We'll be right back. 